get my sister's iPod that I stole from her. That's a little tripod. Is this better? Wait. You know what? I'm just going to put it on. Is this better? Much better. Yo, guys, it is Rich Psycho here with another video. Today is a story time of a simpler days in life. This is when I was a little kid. Um, this is when I was still playing with stuffed animals. This was a year ago. It <laughs> so it was a year ago. Um, no, it wasn't. It was, how old was I when this happened? Six-ish? I don't know. So, like most girls, I played with stuffed animals. I was not a girl, and I still are not a girl. I just don't know why I like stuffed animals so much. If you watch 50 of the randomest or weird things in my room, you'll find that I have a lot of stuffed animals. Like, I have a lot of stuffed animals. Maybe too much for a guy that's 13 years old should have. When I think of stuffed animals, I think of Webkins. You know those stupid little things that you, like, plug into, like, online, the Webkins website, and boom, you have, like, an animal online. By the way, first website that brought me onto the internet. So you have Webkins to blame for this cringy YouTube channel. Webkins made me love the internet. There's a Webkin. They, Webkin. Webkin. They have these W thing, things on their foot. And then you just like put them, put them around like this. You know all of them stand up. And yeah, they're your like, friend. So, my first Webkins, I was five years old. And his name is John C. <laughs> and his name is- Um, Fix It. Because my favorite show was Bob the Builder, and his dog was named Fix It. So, I named him Fix It. But I just wanted to say that because that doesn't have any relevance to the story at all. I love Webkins so much that I thought they were real. So I would put, I would line my 100, I had over 100, I had a big collection of webkins. I would line them all up on my bed, have everyone come into my room, and play my CD of Big Time Rush. Wait, I want to see if I still have it. Alright, I don't have Big Time Rush. I, um, I put like, in my big boom box that is in my dad's music room. I put in my Big Time Rush CD, but I'm going to show an Austin and Alley CD because it's the only Disney CD or Nickelodeon CD that I could find into it. Put all of them, bring every one of my family into my room and listen to that song while you watch a bunch of stuffed animals just sit on my bed. I had time my life. I thought that was the best thing in the world. I had it like once a week. It was, it was the big deal in the caddy house. So, when that phase passed, it actually never passed, I still will find a stuffed animal in my room. That giraffe is my, is my sister's, but this is mine. It's not a webkin, but it's a fluffy unicorn, and I keep it on my dresser all the time. Yeah. And I also have that one thing that, you know, gave to me when I was born, and I will have it all my life. But that doesn't mean any- All it says is that my copyright thing is good standing. Bang! Oh, and then I'm a partner. I'm a YouTube partner. Woo. I was, I'm basically wasting your time with this stupid story. So, one of those nights after that, I started hearing things in my room. So this one night I was hearing things. Like, 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 dom bom 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 boom, bom 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 boom. It was rain and thunder. That doesn't mean anything to the story either. No, the iPod. Um, so, I would wake up in the morning, and this went on for like a week. And I would see the webkins over here. Then over here, then over here, then over here, then right here, then right over here. It would move. So, I was like, eight years old when this happened? 
I don't even know anymore. I, th I might have said six earlier, but I really don't. So, I was the idiot that would get up and s say, who's there? Stuff like that. Okay, I actually heard something. Who's there? Where, what part am I at? Oh yeah. So I would keep seeing it moving. And then on the very last night I saw it moving, I woke up and I saw this black figure just walk out of my room. Craziest thing. And Till this day, I'll still wake up and see that black figure just walking right out my door that is right over there. And it freaks me out every time. And I always wake up at the same time. It is always two, it's always 2.16 in the morning. Because I don't even know why. I think it's just my mind telling me to wake up at that time. Yeah, so I don't know where I was going with the story. All that webkin bull crap was just to lead you guys up to a story about how I see people. This is a boring video. <laughs> but by the way guys, I have a Musical.ly. Here it is, um, go check it out. Um, I make like Musical.ly's on there. And before you're saying, oh my god, Andrew, you have a Musical.ly, that... Anybody there? Oh my god, Andrew, you have Musical.ly's. How could you do such a thing? You're becoming a Jacob Sartorius cringe fest. Oh, well, you know what? I wasn't gonna. And then I got a shout out from a big girl on Musical.ly. Her name, I don't know if you guys know her name is Brooklyn Gabby. It'll be right here too. Um, she's my friend. We, we hung out on the cruise, blah, blah, blah. And she has like 300,000, almost 300,000 on Musical.ly. And she said she'd give me a shout out. So I joined back. And I'm starting Musical.ly up again. So yeah. That wraps the video up. Story time complete. I, I, I really... It's hard. It's hard. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. For Psycho. I hope you guys like this video. Like it, subscribe if you're new, blah blah blah. Do all that stuff. Come smile with us, and I'll see you. I'll end it off all cool, like looking over here in the next video. It's a hard knock life. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's yo lost. They biting on my freestyles. They tell me make my money fronting on that beat style. I tell them I be too old.